Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of December 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa. Sagittarius, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person uh, you are dealing with, you are thinking about, what is the mutual energy between you and this person. There is also an extended reading for this one. Okay, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. Uh, what action they will take towards you. What is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Uh, in the extended reading, we'll also see. Uh, or rather, we'll try to dig uh, a dig deeper in your future. Okay, your future love life. So, if you're interested, you can check out the link that has been provided in the description box and in the comment section. Okay. So let's get started now. So we have is two of pentacles for you, we have tower and we have is the fool. For your person we have is king of pentacles, ace of swords and we have is four of pentacles, mutual energy, seven of swords and the death. Okay. Let's pull out love notes. Let's pull out love notes. So what are the messages from universe? Okay, so these love notes are from universe. We're going to discuss the love notes at the fag end. Okay. Wow. Beautiful colors and beautiful notes. So, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Uh, you may be dealing with an Aries, you may be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So, Sagittarius, we have Two of Pentacles, we have Tower and we have Fool. Okay. Maybe since a very long time, Sagittarius, you were com contemplating whether... you should leave a certain situation whether you should manifest a breakdown of a certain situation okay uh, now this breakdown can be most likely I'm getting this is a relationship breakdown this can be a breakdown with your person probably uh, you were still connected with them energetically okay you want to cut down the cords with them you were finding yourself intermittently thinking about them okay uh for some of you i'm sensing this is a relationship breakdown with your friends probably uh, a relationship breakdown for some of you where you have experienced a lot of toxicity so this can be a family situation this can be a work situation you were contemplating a breakdown Okay, you are thinking about that breakdown since a very, very long time. And what I see is like with a fool taking a leap of faith towards that tower card, I'm sensing that you will finally decide like, yes, if I am required to give up on this connection, if I have to cut out this person from my life, if I have to cut out this relationship out of my life, and it, if cutting out this person or this situation, this relationship is for my highest good, okay, and if it comes with a price, I'm okay with that. I'm going to take a strong leap of faith, okay, from long-term perspective. Even if, this, even if this breakdown will bring some temporary sadness, some temporary depression, okay, from long-term perspective, this is, this is, 
uh, for my own benefit this is for uh, this is for my highest good maybe you were holding yourself back from taking this decision okay uh maybe you were overthinking about it maybe for some of you you even consulted tarot card readers you even consulted your senior uh maybe some uh, you consulted uh, your friends or maybe you consulted someone whom you trust the most okay what i should do i probably i'm not comfortable i'm not happy in this situation i'm not happy with this person okay you may not be happy with the person you may not be happy with the job you may not be happy with your friends you may not be happy with your family whatever it is okay you are contemplating a breakdown of a, a situation since a very long time and finally you are deciding to take a leap of faith towards that okay now we have is king of pentacles we have ace of swords and we have is four of pentacles for your person sagittarius so what i see over here is oh uh, sagittarius probably you are on a quest of trying to find out certain answers for your own life maybe you are taking a bit of a philosophical journey philosophical journey a spiritual journey in your life right now okay you are a bit curious about life like why uh, why did i take birth um, in this lifetime what is my life purpose why did i met the people that i have met in my life what was the purpose behind meeting them so again it can be anything it can be your romantic partners it can be your relationship with your family you are specifically trying to think about situations which did not turn out to be really good okay and and the people that were involved in those situations your you are also trying to think like why the situation happened what was the outcome was there any kind of a learning uh, are these situations sort of pushing me towards my life purpose what exactly is happening so uh it's it's a quest of trying to find certain answers it's a quest of trying to search something okay trying to gain some sort of a clarity and while you are on this journey while you are trying to find the answers of all these questions basically you are trying to find the answers to all these questions because you want to make sure like before you take a leap of faith towards the next person towards the next relationship I want to be sure that I have learned my lessons well. I want to be sure like what were the takeaways from the previous situations. Okay? Those takeaways are are like I have understood them very well. I should not repeat the mistakes what I have committed in the past. I don't want to repeat those mistakes again in the future. I don't want to remain stuck in the cycle. I want to keep on progressing. I want to encounter better people. I want to encounter better situations. Okay? And how will I encounter better people and better situations by learning from the from the uh, from the previous experiences. Right? So you you are trying to gain some wisdom, some clarity around uh, your your past uh, uh, situations and relationships. okay and then probably you want to take a leap of faith towards someone new something new okay uh with that king of pentacles someone wants to offer you the stability someone wants to give you what you want okay uh but then again i don't know because because you are trying to find lot of answers because there is a bit of a fear also inside you you may find yourself initially holding yourself back 
okay holding yourself back from this person who who wants to offer you the stability you may find yourself bit cautious when they will approach you okay so first of all let me tell you one thing sagittarius that learning is a lifelong process it's not like i have learned these lessons so going ahead i won't have to learn anything more okay so because of the learnings you don't have to hold yourself back don't be fearful first of all like have i learned enough am i capable enough to get into a next relationship please don't doubt yourself capability and ability okay don't doubt your own capabilities or abilities every single person who is born on this planet earth is capable and able to do lot of things in their life okay learnings is something that is meant for every single person okay and don't hold yourself back from something that is so good okay maybe you will have some new learnings with this person so when i say you will have new learnings with this person i don't mean that you are you are going to break away from them because with that king of pentacles what i see is like this is going to be a very strong and a stable relationship something that you will turn out to be a long term situation okay all i want you to know and understand is just because your learning is happening doesn't mean like you should hold yourself back okay uh because ultimately i don't want you to lose this opportunity okay uh right so let's see what is a mutual energy we have seven of swords and the death yes you are leaving people and situations who who brought a lot of toxicity in your life a uh, people uh who were quite manipulative who were controlling you had a lot of people in your life sagittarius who wanted to control you who have manipulated you every now and then who were not so good with you okay with that death card next to seven of swords is what i what i see is like you are clearly ending such relationships okay you are cutting off ties with such people who are highly manipulative who are highly controlling okay and you are so done with such kind of people and uh, probably that is one of the reason why you are manifesting someone so nice someone so stable in your life okay you're cleansing your life right so as far as the uh, uh i i hope this resonates and if this resonates you can go ahead and check out the link that has been provided in the description box for the extended reading okay now as far as these love notes are concerned let's check them out so we have is love is the reason why everything is happening then you will find you will find what you are seeking exactly whatever you are seeking whatever you are manifesting is coming your way sagittarius this is a beautiful card i just love this one and this one also this is so colorful you were uh, you were born with that it quality you are a unique soul don't underestimate yourself <coughs> excuse me start where you are so if you are contemplating doing something since a very long time but you are procrastinating that please don't do that okay pucker up the buttercup so being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet go for the love magnet okay so you're being asked to go for the love magnet then we have a see me in their eyes wow whenever conferring with another either face to face or across the miles whether a human being departed spirit or a sentient tree always speak to the highest within them it makes such a difference so it's like speak to someone's soul okay so it's like through the eyes we always see the soul of the other person right eyes never lie so whenever you are dealing with someone deal with the soul rather than the physical presence speak to the highest within them okay 
do something new do something different make sure that you are doing something new you are doing something different try to be productive convince yourself and not others okay whenever you are making any kind of decisions make sure you are you are convinced and don't take decisions to please someone else i heart you i love you okay so someone is going to come and say i love you okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below if you are interested in the extended reading link is in the description box and in the comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and them we'll also try dig deeper into the future of your love life okay bye bye then